Hello and welcome to this Technic Force tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss the new media feature in CloudFunnels. We're proud to say that CloudFunnels is constantly evolving, and with the latest version in 4.2.7, we're rolling out the new media tab. This is in response to a problem that our users were having when they were creating content in their sequences or composing mail or in their funnel pages. CloudFunnels would allow them to upload their files but it didn't easily permit these files to be reused without multiplying the memory used. And also, users were looking for an easy way to upload PDFs and video files to membership pages and other areas of their funnel. So now, to upload any kind of media file, you just have to go to the Media tab. Here you can upload any sort of media, whether it's video, image, PDF, audio, or anything. To get started, click Upload, and then select a file from your system. Choose the file, select Open, and then Upload. And that adds this file to your media library. This file is now permanently stored here within CloudFunnels for you to quickly and easily recall later on. If you select the file, you'll see a file detail pane open in the side. You can customize the detail by giving it a specific title or description, and there's also a URL provided that you can go to in a new tab in your browser and that asset is now assigned to this URL. So anywhere where you need to use the URL as an asset link, you can do so. If you're tidying up and you want to delete this file, you can do so by pressing the trash icon here. And if you make any changes to the detail, you can save your changes. As you upload more and more files, you can filter your media type by images, audio, video, documents, or other. You can also sort your files by date ascending or descending, or you can search your library by searching for a specific file name. Let's upload a few more files to see how it looks. We upload new, we select our files, we choose a file from our system, opened, and upload. And we'll do a couple more, this time a PDF, open and upload and one more upload file select and this time we'll choose an image and upload so that gives us a few assets to use in our media library now and by selecting the type we can filter this by images Audio, oh, I didn't upload any audio, so we'll view all. Video. And documents. Now we can quickly recall any of these assets in any CloudFunnels content editor. So whether we're making sequences, composing mail, editing funnel pages, or membership pages, etc. As an example, let's compose a mail. So here in the content editor, Previously, if we wanted to add an image, we had this tool for insert edit image. And we can still use that. And if we want to, we can even paste that URL that was assigned by our file detail and save that. And we can still use that tool. However, to make things even easier for us now, there's now an import media button. So with one click here, it opens up our media library and we can just click the asset that we want to import and then click the import button to import that into our content. Now in the case where we're importing a PDF, like for example here, import, the file name could be kind of messy when it's embedded with the rest of our content. So what we can do is let's just erase that. And when we go to import the media, instead of this messy title here, we can just edit that to however we want it to appear. save the detail, and then import that. And now it imports as a nice clean title that we want to appear in our content. If we're importing video, we can just do the same thing, import media, import our video, import that, and it brings the video player right into our content. And for the images that we import, if we want to resize those, we can just click on the image asset, and then we can grab these handles here and we can resize that 
to fit however we want. If we decide once we've imported this that we want to change the title here, we can just click on this link and we can use the insert edit link tool here and we can change the text to display. So we can call this get your free gear guide and save. And that updates it here in our content right away for us. So it's very easy to use. It's a very similar process when we're editing our pages as well. So let's just go to a funnel here and we'll just quickly edit this funnel and we'll edit a page. So this opens our page editor and if we want to add an image, we can just do so, add an element and we'll select image. And for that image, when we click on this, we still have the regular way of uploading a file from our system or using a URL from the internet, but now we have the import media button. And now if we click on this, it opens our media library and we can just select an image straight from our media library and import that. And that brings the image in. And likewise, let's add a container here. If in our container, if we go into the style tab, we can scroll down and for editing the background image, we can open up this tab here for background image. And again, we can choose the file from our system or we can just import the media from our media library. So we'll click on that and import that. And that brings our background image into our container. So you see why we're so excited about this new media function and how it's definitely going to make CloudFunnels even easier than before and will help to improve your workflow. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks very much for watching.